It helps yeah. so yeah. much. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. hi there. It's Graham Vincent, violin oh, maker and musician. And with me, I have someone you have definitely seen before, <laughs> who goes by the name of Bronco, aka Chris Hutchings. Chris yeah. Yeah. Um, and we are planning to do a, a sort of a run through of various violins. And we might, if we have time, even have a look at a couple of bows. Or I might do that as a separate video. Um, and at the moment, if we can actually do this without falling out, we're kind of thinking we might do... <laughs> <laughs> if we, we might won't. do a couple more of these videos anyway. But there we go. Um, it's all looking good so far. We've both got a cup of tea. Yeah. So there we are. The main thing, the elixir. Cheers, my dear. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Now back to business. So, in front of me, I have got five violins that I've made. Um, they've all got dominant strings on, and I'll be completely honest about this. I thought that was a really good idea when I put the strings on, because I thought, everyone knows what dominant strings sound like. I'll put them on everything. Everyone will be able to judge the violins because they've got the same strings on. But the fact, what I'm starting to learn is that most people don't like dominant strings, and I'm also starting to understand why. Um, when I had, I had um, Infelt Red, also by Tomastic, on some of these previously, and they were they were just so much nicer. So I'm now faced with the prospect of uh, spending five times whatever it is I can get for these. And the other strings were warmer as well. Yeah. Whereas we find that the dominant is quite a plain. Well, I, I, I don't know, because I'm, I'm, a couple of these, I'm thinking of putting um, Vachel Amber on, which, which have a... They have a kind of a warmth and, mm. a, and a depth, but they, they also have a brilliant kind of a bite to them that is kind of missing with some of these. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think, that, yeah, what I've learned from this is that I need to put the best strings on rather than a benchmark string. That's what I'm finding. But anyway. Bear in mind, dominant do cost an arm and a leg. Dominant? They cost a bomb. They're for not... what they're really, for what they are, I don't know why. You, you, really... were, you were saying that you've tried um, Corelli... Yeah, I've done Freddy Crystal um, on one of your old violins that I've mm. got. And it's I find that it's got a much more mellow tone, but that suits my playing. Yeah. Um, if you need a, a brighter tone, you probably wouldn't go Corelli Crystal. Mm. But they're the ones I go for. See, what, what I'm always looking for in the sound of a violin is a really nice full bottom end, a, 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 almost an acidic cut on the top, but, yeah. but then with that kind of... As I've said before, that sort of core anglais, that oboe. Oh, yes. That middle yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I suppose I'm looking for everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have played a viola then. Uh, well, okay, yeah. <laughs> See where this is going to go. Just a viola player yeah. coming in the room. So, you know what I was saying about not falling out? <laughs> well, I've just, uh, just labelled him a viola player. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> so, no, um, I will be making a viola soon, so um, uh, this is all in jest. About time. I've been only saying it for about two years. You have? Yeah. So, <laughs> in front of us, we've got um, two violins in maple and sycamore. I mean, maple and um, la, la, la. spruce. That's what I'm trying to say. Absolute what you'd expect. Then we've got... I don't interesting. Even, yeah, this... I made an applewood violin for a, a raffle, and I actually made a... A second one at the same time which I didn't necessarily shout about because someone saw it very early on and said I'll have that and then for their own personal reasons they were not in a position to have it so here it is um, so it's it's a very interesting comparison to have and then um, some of my so a couple of my ash ones um, and we've got some tone wood from uh, a very good tone wood supplier down in um, Sussex, who you can work out who that is if you know your tone woods. And then this apple wood is um, that's from Tinker's Bubble up the road. Oh, is it? And arrived on horse and cart. Oh wow! Yeah, I know. And the front is a um, the front is a bit of reclaimed cabinet making wood. A nice bit of spruce, very resonant. Um, this one is the ashes from the English Welsh borders, and the front is an old Victorian floorboard. And then this one is, it's got the same, um, same ash, but uh, it's got the same 
front as the uh, applewood one. I realise I'm talking a huge amount. I'll shut up. So no, it's all right. It's fine. You, ca you carry on. And then these two with the ash have got a sycamore neck. Right. So, over to someone who can play. <laughs> <laughs> you can play as well. I don't know what you're on about. So, I'll put it in order. Yeah. Because last time in... Bronco's favourite to Bronco's not so favourite, but that okay. doesn't mean they're not good. It just means that this suits the tone I yeah. like. Okay. Because um, this none is... of the violins. For really, for the one thing I will always say is obviously a violin is independent. It's individual to the player. Mm. So one person, one person might not might not like the other person's going to love. Yeah. Um, the one thing, the one thing, which stands out to me with all your designs mm -hmm. is the back of the instrument i always think they look really beautiful it's particularly the one that's your favorite which i now can't have um <laughs> it sounds like a viola at the bottom <laughs> so i'm going to play the same tune on okay. each fiddle because what i've noticed i've done the videos in the past yeah and i find that when i play different fiddle tunes you don't really get the sort of what tune you plan to play? I'm going to play Sarah Brouse and Granite. Okay. Which is a lovely little slow air. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, because actually, I find that when you're playing a fiddle, playing quick is great, but you don't get the true resonance and that no. beautiful tone. I, I would agree. But I think also you do need to play it quickly uh, just to check that it does speak quickly. I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll play something quick as well. No, I, I wasn't saying that. I was just saying... <laughs> generally and can I, can I say as the person who's made all of these yep. that all of these are going to have their strings changed and there are a couple of these where I will be continuing just to make a couple of tweaks and this is one of them because play it and we'll go from there so I'll play it I won't do what I was going to do so something yeah previously that had a really rich and ringing tone and yep. since i put the dominance on it's just average yep. so those dominants are going and in fact we can't even sounds, even when you try and it sounds like it's got a set of rubber bands on it yeah it really yeah does. it's rubbish and the other tweak which i think you wanted to mention which i'll just bring mm. up because i quite yep. like the idea of it because i pointed it out go on the e Mm. The E string. I might well go back. I might well go back to using um, my gold briquette um, on, on that. Yes. I, I yeah, think yeah, probably, yeah. Probably it's going to end up with um, in felt reds, which I quite like. Or I might push the belt out and go to matic pies on that. On I that think one. that would work. Because mm. the actual instrument's lovely. Yeah. There's nothing makes, wrong with the instrument. It's just a bit of strings. Makes a great sound. Yes. Um, well, it has done previously. And if you want to say. sing but i think when you change the strings it's going to make a it's going to make a huge difference, difference. those strings i mean yes yeah, dominants do work with some violins and we'll see that in a minute but i honestly they don't kind of work with that one from a string teaching perspective yeah. i would almost say though that the dominant strings are great for pupils right because it makes a nice tone yeah regardless okay but when you get to a certain level of playing yeah I just think they don't, they don't give justice. Are we, um, if we're basically moving along this way. Yeah, so that's I'm putting that there at the moment. Yeah. But only reason why it's going there at the moment is, as we said, is just yeah. because it might change. Yeah. Yeah. Bronco's using a, 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 it's a really lightweight French bow, sort of nineteenth century French bow. It's not the maker's name on it, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lovely bow. Yeah. But it's very light. It's kind of, I think it's under 50 grams all in, which yeah. is kind of not where you want to be now. A bit weird with a view. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a heavier bow. Um, okay.
again, I like it. However, if I'm honest, I'd actually say that one's better. Would you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the, reason, the only reason I say it is because I find, I find, it's got no gut. That's, I'm, I'm entirely happy to hear that because personally, I've, I've always felt that was a better violin than this one. And it is definitely down the bottom end. That's why I'm so disappointed with these strings on it. But the only reason mm. why this is, is just mainly mm -hmm. because if we... I don't have to go backwards on it, but if you think about it... It's got a lot more deep end. It's yeah. a lot lower end. I think... Whereas... I would put that one there then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, for me, that kind of, I think long term, that's that's going to be a much better violin. It just feels. Like I do. It's, yeah. it's, I, I just partly. Yeah. Part of me just goes a strings yeah. isn't the right combination. I need to play with the strings, the bridge, the sound yes. pose, Just get it all working really nicely. Let's put this one side. You've said all yeah. you need to say yeah. about that Thank one. Thank you. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, that, that's that's the boss speaking. Yeah. Well, no. What do you reckon? Should we go with it? I have been wanting to play this one. So this is the Applewood one. I've been spying on this on Instagram and Facebook. A lot of people have been really intrigued by it, it has to be said. And I'm glad that I get to play it and they don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's just, I mean, in here in Somerset, you know, apples, cider. Apple trees, orchards, it's a big part of the local scene, so yeah. it just seemed such a shame not to. And yeah. the beauty of already is as soon as you just sort of pluck the strings, you can already hear the resonance. It is, yeah. So, obviously, Somerset's got another good thing. <laughs> Why <Well, I'm> Inwood? <laughs> Is it? No, I mean, it stands up against maple, no problem at all. Yeah, and it's also. I actually think it's a lot better than. No, you can't have it. <laughs> oh dear. Not if you pay, pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's. I it's, am. Oh, yeah. mm. I like it. I think, especially, actually. Even, what do you think a viola mate, would be like made in applewood? Because that's. I think it would be quite nice. Yeah. As long as you put the right strings on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because a lot of the tunes that we play, I know we go up to a higher end, especially for fiddle players particularly, but we are actually mainly on these three strings. Well, if you think we do about, play up there. I, if you think about the strings that wear out, it's always the A string, isn't it? Yeah. That's obviously where you're... Well, personally, where I'm, where I'm based. Now, maybe that's because it's the A's got a thinner winding, of course. He says, but, throwing a spanner in the works. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to keep, well, at the minute, oh, okay. so because I haven't played these ones yet, so, so it's at the top. Is it? Oh, right, okay. Only because I love the low end, but then again, it's my style of playing. It, so. wasn't, it wasn't a disappointment, no. I have to say. No. I mean, because, you know, the whole, going through the, the process of making those, I was thinking, you know, am I wasting my time here? But it was funny, as soon as I put the, the box together, and, and you're just used to how boxes, you know, and now it's got a neck and strings and everything on it, but when you've just got the box of the body, and it's like, oh, this is gonna work, you know? It's quite interesting. Well, I like to put this out, it's all resonant. That's an old Victorian floorboard, the front. 
Well, it's a good floorboard. Well, I mean, I always pick wood. <laughs> I, I, I don't use wood unless it's resonant, you know. Still, still, going. still going. That's unusual for a violin. That's really nice. Mm. Mm. It's like... And it's, again, dominant. So, I mean, decent strings on it. And, you know, it, it will be really, it will really sing, I think. I think, I agree. Mm. It's more resonant than the upward. It is, yeah. So we're moving Which means that will come down one. <laughs> it's hardly <really> moved. <laughs> It's almost like you know what I like. So the only one to try now is that one. Is that one? So that this one is. I. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll uh... see. We'll see what you think of that one. Oh, that's a nice fat one. Yeah, I like that anyway. Probably. Don't know why I say that. It's just I look at the back of the violin and go, I... "Oh, that's got character." I honest, in all honesty, don't I don't know think why. If you, if you don't like the look of a violin then there's no point in having it because you won't pick it up. You need something you actually love, you know. And, and you've got to love the look of it, you've got to love the feel of it, you've got to love the sound of it. It's, right, so from the initial thoughts of just plucking it. It's got a slight buzz, but that's fine. Yeah. I think you might be able to work out what that work is. Work that out and deal, it, deal with it. But, resonance-wise, it's not as resonant. However, let's see. Mm. No, it's not normal mellow though. Mm. first equal if you want. That'd make you happy though, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here to do that. No. <laughs> no, I am here. To, yeah. But it basically, if I was honest, if I was going to go to a pub session, yeah. and I wanted to go and play something with a little bit more... You'd probably go for that one. Yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah. If I was going to go and gel in an orchestra, yeah, because I wanted to have a, like, sort of like a sectional instrument... Yeah. I would take this one. Yeah, yeah. So I've been in this problem before. You have. At the church. Mm. <laughs> I remember this day very well, where I was sat there stuck between two instruments. I thought we were talking about your wedding for a minute there. Oh, no. We saw, oh, well, we've been there as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, stuck there too. Well, I'll edit that bit out. It's all right. Yeah. I'll keep it there for fun. <laughs> Sarah, watch it and go. Anyway. So... Uh, so I will have to do joint first, but with a reason behind yeah, it. You, you've explained it well. You've explained it well. Yeah. So, folk, classical. I'll take them home, shall I? No. So. <laughs> and do you know what? I, I agree with you completely. And what I would say is if I was buying one to play in front of the fire at home, I'd probably be that one. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Bear in mind, I must say, I like your bridges. Good. Actually. I just throw. <laughs> I like your bridges. Did you, like Did you see that one? Yeah, yeah. That snuck in there, sort of Baroque style. Yeah, I like. The, I like. Mm. Um, if you want something a bit different, I'll definitely come here. Um, <laughs> I, I think. So personally, classical folk, they're joint first. They've both got their own qualities. Mm. Um, they're very rich down the bottom end. But I will like to point this out for any fiddle player that sits there and 
who's going to watch these videos. I am traditionally a viola player, so I do prefer low end. <laughs> so you just... I, I, there is a disability sometimes, apparently, <laughs> and we're a rare breed, but um, I say that because I'm allowed to, because I am the viola player. The beast ones are beast ones. Are, I, if I was to come here and say I'm going to take some violins off your hands, these are the two I'd go for. However, mm. I would say that if if I was honest, you keep saying that this one, that one, yep, yeah, that's a nice violin. <laughs> this one would have been my favourite. Yeah. I think it will again be your favourite. To be honest, when I've sorted out the bridge and strings and the, and the sound post, I think it it, it will. I th I think that's... is this one of your early bridges? Yeah, it was done at the same time as the whole batch. So uh, honestly, I think that will that will come into its own a bit. Yeah, I, I... That, that one I think I might have to re reduce the price on. If I could just say though, <laughs> in all seriousness, yeah, go on. You can tell how far you've come along, right? Because your bridges. That's quite high. It is. Uh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Whereas yeah. I love those. Yeah. Cool. I would buy cool. one of those bridges separately, like, just because I think because I find the bridge is actually just as important as anything else because you haven't got the right sort of bridge. It's all important, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Everything's important to be honest. Right. I find that those bridges. It's quite lean on it. Yeah. But they're they're it's, it's a lovely bridge. Whereas mm. you can tell that you've you've how far you've come along with your bridge making. Yeah. But I do, I, it's really, it's very interesting. But that, this one, I liked, I can remember when I first recorded this video. Yeah. Uh, with this instrument. And I did like it a lot. Yeah. I've always, I think Dominant hasn't helped. It hasn't, it hasn't. It will, um, as, as I say, I'll, um, I will actually sort of change the strings on that one. Improve the bridge. Uh, um, do that in the very near future. Uh, and it will be a, a significantly better violin than it is at the moment. I just so. think, I just... I, the I fact that you can't put it down tells you everything you need to know about it, really, doesn't it? I mean, I... Well, only because I know I can't take those two. Well, no, it's <laughs> same with me. I, 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 there's something about this one. It just feels a little bit finer and... Mm. It's, it's a very... It's a very tactile instrument for some reason. You know what we're saying about yeah. having to like the instrument? There's something about this one. The touch of it's quite nice. Which I really, I just love that one. It's very nice. But anyway. I find that you yeah. seem, I, not to talk in a sort of spiritual way, but I find that sometimes <laughs> when you when you play a violin, you do kind of feel that sort of yeah. connection. Oh, definitely. And it's yeah. definitely something which, I, it's, it's yeah. not something to sort of, no, I mean it's ignore really because that's how I've managed to choose my instruments in the past. Is normally because yeah. I've ended up having mm -hmm. a look at something and went, oh, even though, the, or <laughs> habit I've got is, oh, that's expensive. That's going to be good, <laughs> and then it's almost like, mm, no, it's not. But it, I mean, it is what you're saying is absolutely true. I mean, I um, when I was uh, selling fiddles down at uh, Sidmouth. Um, and I, I sold four, but there was there's one that really sticks in my mind, and that was a uh, a really really she was such a good violin player or fiddle player, and she came in. I don't think she was looking for a, for a fiddle, and uh, I, I the thing is I've I've heard her playing. I know her playing. She's bold, expressive, and I just thought, oh, that's the one for you. Picked it up, gave it to her, and she played like two or three notes, and and her she just sort of welled up. And it was like you could see her sort of thinking, mm. oh my goodness, and yeah, she bought it. Um, so anyway, I think we've kind of probably ought to bring this video to a yeah. conclusion because we're starting to reminisce and, and waffle. <laughs> it's a dangerous situation. <laughs> I don't know. I definitely those two. They they would be my go-to. It's not going to happen. Doesn't mean I know. <laughs> that doesn't. Thank you for reminding us. <laughs> Before this video happened yeah. as well, by the way, I asked for a cup of tea and I started playing the fiddles. And then as soon as it was, I came in, it was like, you're not having them. Mm. It's like, okay, even knows which one I'm talking about as well. Mm. Um, like I said, the only problem I found with these is just the fact that it just, the strings, I don't think, work. Yeah. But dominant, I don't think, works for everybody. Well, anyway. I don't know, I've explained why I tried them. I, I kind of thought it was a very sensible thing to do. Now, looking back, it was a kind of over £200 mistake. 
Uh, but there we go. Well, Such is life, eh? <laughs> but then again, it's, it's it's a good. They make a good sound for what mm. you know. Well, Henry de Haan uses them on a Strad, for goodness' sake. I don't know. Yeah. Well, wow. Seems strange. Anyway, oh. signing off. Uh, yep. There will be more waffle later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no doubt about it.